Hello, Day! Are you going on vacation? And you're going to sail across the sea? Of all our friends, you're the bravest one! I don't think it's a good day for sailing. You should wait for the weather to improve and set sail when it's a bit better. Do you know how to find out if the storm will continue? That's right! We just have to check the weather forecast. What does it mean when the forecast shows a black cloud with lightning? Of course, it'll keep raining. I recommend you wait before you leave. The weather has changed again. It stopped raining. But do you know what these wavy lines ending in a spiral mean? What does this new forecast tell us? Of course, that it's going to be very windy. Don't be so impatient, Day. Wait until the wind dies down. The weather forecast tells us we're going to have a sunny day now. Yay! Hang on, Day. There are more things you need to know before you start your journey. What do you need to know to understand the full weather forecast? Do you know what these pictures right here mean? The thermometer shows us the temperature. It tells us if it will be hot or cold. The higher the red bit is, the hotter it will be. The droplet shows us the humidity. That is how much water vapor is in the air now. The arrows that are pointing down show us the atmospheric pressure. And the sun with the abbreviation UV indicates the intensity of the rays coming from the sun. So we will know if they're too strong and can hurt our skin. Now that we know everything, let's go on vacation! You can rest now, Day. It's okay. Let's figure out why the dry leaves have fallen down. Exactly, because it is autumn here. What are you doing, Day? Are you going home? Maybe when you want to go on vacation, you not only have to know the weather forecast, but also choose the season of the year at the destination. Day, do you know how many seasons the year has and what climates each one has? There are four seasons, summer, autumn, winter, and finally spring. And do you know what the weather is like in each season? In the summer, it becomes very hot. In the autumn, it usually rains and the leaves dry up. In the winter, it's cold and snowy. And in the spring, the sun comes back and everything blooms. Now that you know the weather forecast and the climates for each and every season, all you have to do is find the perfect destination for your trip. Let's review together. When the forecast shows a cloud with lightning, what does it mean? Perfect! It means there's going to be a storm. What does this icon in the forecast show us? The atmospheric pressure or the intensity of the sun's harmful rays? Perfect! It tells us the intensity of the sun's rays. And finally, how many seasons are there? Perfect! There are four seasons. Summer, autumn, winter, and spring. Since we've all learned about the weather forecast and the weather for each of the seasons of the year, we'll see you on the next edition of Day's Vacation. Sorry, we'll see you next time on Day's Adventures. Hello, Day, how are you? That looks like so much fun. You're in a hot air balloon. Where are you traveling to? You're going around the world? You are the bravest of all our friends. Tell us, do you have a travel route so you won't get lost? Come on, Day. What do you think you can use to find your way? Can you use binoculars, a satellite navigator, or a joystick? Excellent answer! We can all use a map with a satellite navigator. The route will be like this. We'll start by traveling through Europe, and then Asia, Oceania, then we'll go to America, and then finally we'll make our way to Africa. Yes! Good! According to the navigator, the point we're departing from is right here. Here we go! What is that? Pull up, 
today, we're about to hit the Eiffel Tower! Now we're reaching Asia! Do you know what that is? It's the Great Wall of China! Right! And now according to the map, we are going to… Oceana! It's so much fun! Dang, look at the kangaroos hopping! We followed the map, but… What continent are we flying over? Have we lost our way, Day? What can we use to find our bearings? That's right! Compasses! They tell us where north is. And south. And east. And west as well. This way we can easily orient ourselves. Let's continue our journey. We've reached America! And now we're flying over the Statue of Liberty! Those are lovely pictures, Day! Let's cross the Atlantic Ocean and complete the round-the-world voyage! We've reached Africa! Our destination! Yes! We've already gone around the world! How adventurous you are, Day! Now you're taking us on a trip to the moon! Yes! What a great adventure we had today! Do you remember the names of the things that help us find our way around? Perfect! A map, a satellite navigator, and a compass! Yes! We visited two monuments. Do you remember which one is the Eiffel Tower and which one is the Statue of Liberty? This is the Eiffel Tower. And this is the Statue of Liberty. Yes! The compass tells us the four cardinal points. Do you remember what they are? You're a genius! They are north, and south, and east, and west. Yes! We are now expert explorers! We'll see you next time on Day's Adventures! Hello, Day! Are you painting? You have drawn a self-portrait! You're going to participate in an art exhibition? Out of all our friends, you are the bravest! Yay! And you're going to color your sketch? Good! Do you know what colors Day will use to paint the picture? Red, and blue, and yellow. The primary colors. Which part are you going to paint first? You'll start with a body. Day, you don't have any green to paint your body with. Did you know you can create it by mixing two primary colors? You don't know which ones to mix? That's not a problem. We're all here to help you. What colors can we put together if we want to make green? Very good. If we mix yellow with blue, then we end up making green, which is a secondary color. Now that you've painted your body, which part are you going to paint next? The shirt you have on is orange. You don't have the color you're looking for? We can create that too! If we took the yellow paint and mixed it with the blue to make green, which one of the other two primary colors can we mix to create orange? Are we going to take the red paint and mix it with the yellow paint? Or are we going to mix red and blue? Perfect! If we mix the yellow paint with the red, then we create orange! Yay! And then if we mix the red paint with the blue, then we create purple. And that is how we get the three secondary colors, orange and green and purple. Yay! The self-portrait is perfect now, Day. And now, how about painting the background of the picture as well to make it a spectacular piece of art? You can imagine yourself posing in a warm, sunny place or in a cold, mountainous place. You just have to choose the right colors for this. The cool colors are green and blue and purple, which are the color of plants and water and the night sky, while the warm colors are yellow and red and orange, the colors of fire and of sand and the sun. It looks like Zeta has decided to come to play with you. 
very angry, Day. Zeta didn't mean to do it. She's just playing. Sometimes something unexpected happens to us. Our projects just don't turn out the way we wanted them to. But we can take advantage of that change. Sometimes it can make the artwork even more creative, Day. Look how much fun Zeta's having by creating new colors. The colors can mix with each other, and we can create new shapes. Yay! Let's go over it together. Which primary colors are we going to mix if we want to make green? Do we mix yellow and blue, or do we mix yellow and red? Perfect! To make green, we have to mix yellow and blue. If we mix the rest of the primary colors, we get purple and orange. But which of these colors are warm and which are cool? Good! Blue and purple and green are all cool colors. And red and yellow and orange are all warm colors. And finally, can only primary colors be combined to make secondary colors? Or can we mix all the colors freely as we feel like and let our imagination run wild? That's right! We can create all the shapes and all the colors that we can think of! We'll see you next time on Day's Adventures! Hello, Day! How are you? It's a beautiful day to ski on the winter snow! Yay! Oh! What was that? It seems like your skis got stuck in a puddle of mud. How could that be? It seems the snow has melted. Why could that be? Try to think. Exactly, the temperature has gone up. So the snow, which is frozen water, melts when the water gets too hot. If we're in the middle of winter, how did it get hot? Just think about it. That's right, the weather has changed because the planet's temperature has gone up. Don't be upset, Day. You'll be back on your ski soon. Now, let's see. Is there something we can do to bring the temperature down? <laughs> Day, I don't think you can ski on ice cubes that were made in your freezer. Look, the world's factories blow lots of smoke into the sky, and that pollution creates heat. What can we do to help prevent the weather from changing so suddenly? Let's think about it. Right, we can sort and separate our rubbish. Half-eaten fruit goes into the organic waste bin and things like paper, cardboard, plastic, and glass containers can be recycled. And when that's being done, they can be used again. Just make sure you always put them in the right bin. No, don't leave us, Day! Day, I think your car is blowing a lot of smoke into the sky. There you go! Instead of driving around, we can use bicycles so there isn't so much smoke in the air. Then the air will be less polluted and the planet won't get warm so quickly. Oh, Day's disappeared again. Tell us, what are you going to do now, Day? Do you know what he's up to this time? He has organic waste and he's busy digging a hole. Day has just planted a tree. What is he going to do with the organic waste he collected earlier? Do you know? That's right. Day has composted the organic waste to fertilize the tree he planted so that it grows much faster. Very good. Trees and plants are very good at clearing the air, which makes the climate around the planet a lot less warm. Now, what would you say about us planting some trees together? Yay! Yes, that's right. Let's protect our trees and our forests to keep our planet cool. That is wonderful. If we don't blow smoke into the sky and sort our rubbish and recycle it, and if we plant lots of trees, we can stop the planet from getting warm so quickly, and then we can enjoy the snow. <laughs> Let's do a quick recap. What can we do to prevent the Earth from getting warmer? Exactly! We must stop polluting the air with so much smoke. And we must also recycle and put our organic waste to good use. What makes less pollution? A car or a bicycle? That's right! Bicycles do not pollute the air. And what can we do to help keep our planet's air clean? Right! 
We must compost our organic waste, plant lots of trees, and protect them. See you on the next episode of The Adventures of Day!